Okay, so I'm finally ready to chat with you again. I'm going. I'm going. Don't go upstairs. Daddy said no. I got sweet Lily in here. She just crawled into her sister's new toddler bed and totally had a nap. So we're pretty much thinking that it's time for everyone to have a regular flat bed instead of like a walled cribby bed. Oh, man. So remember that extra $200 we had for um, tax return? Well, that's what's going to eat it up. <laughs> Which is okay. I mean, it's so much better to have the money to spend than to... We're not, we're not putting anything on credit, so... I don't want you to go upstairs, Boogie. Because you took Daddy's glasses and almost broke them yesterday. That's why Daddy says no more upstairs for you. He did not say yes. Bubble? Spackle? Are you saying spackle? We're not going to go spackle yet. Mommy is like super tired of spackling. Oh, got the terrible itchy noses. Like those couple of days where it was like really warm, like 50, 60 for like a week. Like the trees started to bud out and like I can already feel like my allergies coming in. It's cold today. It's really cold. In fact, it's been a strange day. Chris is out um, fixing yellow. He's putting new brake lines on all four. Oh, I love cuddly babies. You found the ring? Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, so he's out there. It's like 25 degrees. It's super cold. It's bright and sunny out, but it's it's really cold. So that's what we're doing so far today. So I deboned my inflatable chicken. Wait, what? You don't know what inflatable chicken is? Oh, that's right. That happened yesterday. And it ended up on the cutting room floor because I went to the restore. A semi-unplanned trip. Well, let's have us let's stop and let's review inflatable chicken. Okay, so I thought it would be super fun to show you balloon a chicken. It's deflating. Oh, sadly the chicken balloon is gone. Boo hoo. Okay, so my chicken balloon has reinflated. You guys ready again? One, two, three. And there it goes deflating once again. I think this is about the dumb funniest thing ever. That's a bad sign, isn't it? I'm gonna go supervise. Okay, so I'm serious. I think the inflatable chicken is about stupid funny. So anyway, um, I like I said, I had my inflatable chicken here. I still have just a tad bit of liquid. I did pull... Um, two cups of liquid out for rice and I made rice with that this is all my um, these are bones these are these are leavens <laughs> and this is my deboned chicken I have two beautiful breasts and the chicken deboned breasts are here also okay that was a bad joke anyway um, two I have two whole pieces here that's still I'm gonna eat that and then I was going to say debrone the rest. I got the tenderloin here. Anyway, 
So this is the how much a deboned chicken looks like, or the chicken that I got, and that was like a six pound chicken. So I'm going to put this in my bag of of leavens for doing my stock on uh, the weekend, next weekend. So this is my bag of, of leavens that I have so far. And I'm just going to literally dump this in. I got a lot of chicken parts in here. I got a lot of tails and tops of uh, carrots and stuff like that. All right, so let's dump. All right, look. She, for, this is a one gallon bag. And frankly, she's pretty darn full. And if I was, if I didn't know that I had a turkey coming up this week, uh, I would probably say this is ready to make like its own batch of chicken stock and start it today, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to, oh man, they're running on that bubble wrap. They're having the time of their life. But anyway, um, because I'm going to cook a turkey this week and I'm going to do the same thing with the turkey eventually, debone it just like this. Actually, I like to do it right away while it's still pretty warm because it slides apart easier. Got my vegetables in here, carrot tops and tails, onion tops and tails. And I'm just going to put it, I'm going to get all three of my crock pots actually going. And I'm going to make an enormous batch of it. So that's the update on my chicken stock. That is my magical chicken deboning as well. show you this but um I, I cracked two eggs out of this dozen these extra large eggs I got from Mark's I got one double yoker and a second double yoker like that has never in my life happened to me not ever out of that same dozen I have a third double you can't see I have a third double yoker in this batch isn't that crazy I got one left we're making an angel food cake for Lillian's birthday. Evelyn is helping, and Lillian is just not really down with any of this noise, so it's going good. Okay, so this is the little angel food cake I made at home. I'm gonna get a better light. It is not the prettiest angel food cake I've made, and it is not the biggest for sure. This is a new recipe, and it's, it's in fact pretty dense. Um, but I hope it tastes good. I've got one piece already cut here and I've got a bunch of masticated strawberries we're putting on this and this is the little cake that we are having for Lillian's birthday which is today she is two so that's our little cake and we are each gonna have a delicious piece of that <laughs> 